Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is a bit of a GCSE recap on the trigonometry of finding the missing sides and angles of a triangle, plus find the area of this triangle. Okay, so first thing I need to do is to find, use the cosine rule to find the length of BC. Now, the cosine rule is given by A squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Okay? So, this is a formula that you probably have used to death at GCSE. Okay? And is actually, if I can find it, um is actually given to you, sorry, it's given to you in the formula booklet on page three, okay? You're also given the other form of the equation, which maybe your teacher got you to memorize, um, which is cos A is B squared plus C squared minus A squared over two BC, okay? That's if you're going to find an angle. Uh, but you use this if you're gonna find the length of a side. So, we're going to use this. The A, the little a, is the side opposite your big A, effectively. So if this is the angle that I'm using, then that is my capital A. So this is the little a that I want to find. This would be the little b, and this would be little c. So A squared is equal to B squared, so 100 squared, plus C squared, so 80 squared, minus 2 times 100, times 80 times cosine of A, the angle 72 degrees. Now, you need to make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode. So for a Casio, like the FX991ES+, Plus, okay, to get it into degrees, you've got to go to shift, then mode, to go into the setup, and then you've got the choice of number three or number four, degrees or radians. Now, we want to be in degrees for this, so make sure your calculator is. And then we do 100 squared plus 80 squared minus 2 times 100 times 80 times cosine of 72. And that gets you one, uh, sorry, 11,455.72809. So you now want to square root that. So square root your answer and you get 107.0314351. Okay, so 107.0314351. Uh, that is the length of the line B. Okay, and I've put in the full calculator display because I'm going to, I'm going to need that value as accurate as I possibly can to get the other angles that I need in part two, okay? So for part two, use the sine rule to find the missing angles, okay? Now the sine rule is either written as A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C, or it's the other way around, okay? And because I need an angle, so let's say I want to find angle B, I would put the signs in the numerator instead. So sine B over B is equal to sine A over A. This is the sine rule. So sine B is the one that I want. B, little b, is 100. Capital A is the angle 72. And little a is the 107.0314351. Okay? Now, conveniently, I've kept that on my calculator. So I'm going to do sine of 72 divided by answer. Okay? Divided by this. And that gets me um, something quite small. So 0 0.00888. Okay? I'm going to times that by 100. And that gives me sine B is equal to 
eight five seven six eight one four seven. That's the full Kaplan display. So then in order to get B, the angle B, I'm going to inverse sine this side. So inverse sine of 0.88857681417. Okay. So inverse sine of answer. This is by using the shift and the sine key. And we get B is equal to 62.6949513. So to one decimal place, this is 62.7 degrees. So I now have B to one decimal place. And I can find C by subtracting these two angles from 180. So C is 180 degrees. Take away this angle, take away 72, and that gives me 45.3 degrees to one decimal place. So that has allowed me to find the missing angles. The last thing is to find the area of the triangle. Okay, so the area of a triangle, of any triangle, is given by one half a b sine c okay so in the case of me having the angle a so this represents the angle so it'd be like having a triangle like this with this being c that's the angle that i know and these are two sides either side of it either side of the angle OK, so let's say I'm using these three here. This is equal to one half times A, which can be the 80, times by B, which can be the 100, times by sine of C, the angle between them. So one half times 80 times 100 times sine of 72, and that gets me... 3804.226065. So that's 3804 um, square meters to the nearest uh, square meter. Okay? So that would be the way to find the area of a triangle. So hopefully this is bringing back memories um, of how to use the cosine rule, how to use the sine rule, and how to find the area of a triangle.